really big influence on my life, and I'm telling you that because I'm going to mention him in different places, and man, this book is great. You can open it. It's, it's called Dissolving the Ego, Realizing the Self, Contemplations from the Teachings of David R. Hawkins, uh, Dr. Hawkins, uh, edit, edited by Jeffrey Scott, and um, it, it written by... Um, comes out of Hay House, which is, a, which is a good place for getting really good, positive information. Wayne Dyer, uh, he passed on a, about a year ago. He was also uh, connected with uh, having things published through Hay House. Uh, and he was considered the f kind of the father of the modern spiritual movement. So I studied a lot of his work, too. And, and it was... Uh, nice I got to meet him once anyway all the great teachers have declared that man's primary defect is ignorance research reveals rather quickly that the underlying basis of this ignorance is due to the limitations of the innate structure of the ego uh, I changed the end of the sentence here which is unable to see beyond itself thus the hall of mirrors you have everything you need with within you, right inside there, and you don't need any other gurus, you are your own guru, you learn yourself, and and part of that, a big part of that is making new habits, and it takes about 20 days, about three weeks, to make a new Actually, habit. It only takes a moment to make a new habit, but it takes about three weeks to get it reinforced. How do we go up these levels it's not really up, it's more expanding out, but <clears throat> the chart goes up and down. Uh, if you're going to have a lobster fest on the east coast or something, and you, put, you have the lobsters, you're there on the sand, they dig a hole in the ground and they put the lobsters in it. Because if any one of the lobsters tries to get out, the others will pull it back in. So if you're trying to move on in your life, and your influences, the people around you are, are negative and destructive they'll you try to go move on they will try to pull you back in so just be aware that actually wonderful new positive people are just gonna show up in your life this is my contention that we can become a lot more than we know partly because we just don't know any better everyone seems to do the best they know how to do with the tools they have at the moment. But once we, we get some new tools in our toolbox, so to speak, then we can do a lot better. I'm going to read you the introduction. People say, I am going to change the world. The world, however, is perfect just the way it is. I can see how we can make the world poorer through pollution and mismanagement of natural resources. But what we really need to do is to change ourselves. This book speaks to a place inside all of us that continually searches for better ways to negotiate through our mutual time and space. Art is an essential framework for life. It allows for creation, appreciation of nature and the processes we use to navigate and reach for deeper understanding of our immediate environment. Now our immediate environment, for me right now, it's this wall over here. There's this painting behind me that took me a month to paint. It did. It actually did. It's 11 and a half feet. I'll maybe show it on the film. Anyway, that's my immediate environment. Lines are spiritual. Letters are made up of lines. Each letter is made to represent a symbol. Every symbol has meaning. I is for a man standing upright. O is for the infinite. Uh, C is an O cut off. So you get words like constitution, confusion, control, collusion. Okay. B is, is for uh, beginnings. So we get words like birth, baby, breasts. E is electrifying, elegant, and elemental. To define a word, look at each letter and you will find a way to understand new meanings in what you see. One can always look up 
a definition of a word, then look up each word in the definition. Now you will understand the essence of that word. Every word is a collection of these symbols. Each sentence embodies an idea. A group of sentences expresses a topic and every paragraph builds the structure of the page. Every page is like a work of art, equivalent to a painting. I design them one page at a time with, with a basic idea on one page in the book. Every page develops from an idea and pages before it. They are all individual themes that build a new paradigm or worldview and can be read several times for new understanding. I design each page with the same care I put into a painting. So this is the end of the second part of the introduction. If you like what you see, you can put the thumbs up down here and subscribe if you want to follow it closely, and we'll see you in the next section.